Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the fourth episode of the second season of K.O.N. Now, last episode, we had Ritsu who kind of had a bit of a second thoughts about the whole drum thing, wasn't sure if she wanted to keep doing it, and maybe felt kind of lonely back there, Just she just had some issues that she had to work out. And she worked through them, now she loves drum again, and we're all back to being one functional band, so let's get into it and see where we go from here. Three, two, one, play. Okay. Very snacks, very important. Okay, apparently that was Uwe, not Yui. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Wake up, Yui. You can't sleep all day. As much as you may want to, and as much as I may want to. But we all got things to do during the day. In my case, I have anime to watch. Ha! Huh. Even though it's so hot, I don't really want to get out of bed, but... <coughs> You know, have to. It really does look so nice being in the water like that. You know, why can't it snow here like that? That'd be wonderful. Does great finger work. Such a great song, isn't it? <laughs> uh, there's just so many little fun parts. And of course the Mio hair flip that you can't live without. I think I'd pass out if she did a hair flip at me and hit me with her hair. Yeah, I'd probably just die of happiness on the spot. Yay! I'm sure this will be fun. Yeah, reach on. <laughs> hey, you don't mess with the snacks. <laughs> uh, how nice. Oh? Ooh, tea. Of course, that's what she's given her. I should have known. <coughs> Sounds like a plan. Yeah, d don't worry about it. We're taking a picture, it's kind of important, Sensei. And poor Mio. <laughs> well, she made it over there. <coughs> uh, that was great. Soft things taste better. I agree. Make me hungry. Oh. Oh, mouth. Oh! Made a mess, Yui. Uh. Ow! <laughs> Ow. Little headbutt there. But yeah, that would be nice, though. A Shogakusei prequel to KO. I'm sure it will. You have one job, watch out for Yui. We don't want her to get lost or kidnapped. Or both. <laughs> She's also a handful. <laughs> yeah, she's also the problem. A problem. Yeah, de Oh, Kansai Ben, okay. <laughs> I didn't know accents were games, but sure, why not? Dialect, I want to call it. I 
Yeah. <laughs> right in front of the teacher, just sleeping. The nerve of her. Indeed. Ooh. It kind of does. A little bit. <laughs> I was wondering why Alice wasn't here, but I guess if it's a class trip, she wouldn't be here. It's just weird to not have her here. Just, again, the snacks are important. Ooh, <laughs> just right into her crotch. I mean, it could be. <laughs> if, you, if you can't do it, don't force yourself. You're, you're, you're embarrassing yourself, Ritsu. <laughs> I see. You're so well informed, Moogie. <laughs> Depressive. Sounds like Moogie. Better stuff you say. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. It's different because we're in a different location, you know? Proper order. This makes sense to me. Will they listen to that or just do whatever? Yeah, you should. <laughs> so we're just gonna see all these amazing places in Kyoto, I guess. Maybe. That sounds useful. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> I don't believe that would work, but I guess it's worth a try. <laughs> it's not a pet, let's calm down. <laughs> yeah, if you annoy it too much, it'll, it'll curse you. It does say Emma. It was nice enough to have Furigana, so... Uh, at least they're having fun, that's what matters. Okay. I don't think it'll do much, but... Good luck. <laughs> you should probably hear Sawa-chan Sensei's wishes, too. <laughs> Just running around Kyoto. Wow. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> and yeah, they weren't... They weren't thinking about you. Wow, Yui. Of course, yours has nothing to do with what they did. Well, yeah, I kept running back and forth. No surprise there. Uh... Oh, pillow fight? Are you thinking about a pillow fight, Moogie? I think that's what that was. Or you could have a pillow fight. You know, I think Moogie was thinking about that. Oh. Make it a hit? What? Oh, is that what you do? Everything has to involve snacks, doesn't it, Yui? Yeah, she always has room for more. Yep. 
This is what happens when you fill up on snacks, girls. Ooh, bath. Oof. I am, I'm well aware of that. I am well aware. Yes, I would give almost anything to just rub my fingers through it. Not in a weird way. Yeah, hers is fine too. But not as good as yours, Mia. Don't do it. It probably would, but still, don't do it. You have enough long haired girls in the club, it will ruin the balance. <laughs> Some people are having fun. Making a mess there, Ritsu. And nose won't stop itching. Very unpleasant. Oh, wow. Shot from, shot from behind. That was cheap. Okay, should have at least warned them. Boof. Well then. <laughs> Time for a fight. Ooh! <laughs> that was another good hit. Ah, stop itching. Oof. Oh. Well then. Oh! Man, Moogie is pretty good at this. <laughs> she looks like she's having so much fun too. Just look at that face. Ooh! Dodged. <laughs> oh no. I that was a good hit too in a way. <laughs> you you can't just sleep your way out of this. <laughs> that was that was well played though. Ow. <laughs> it's like playing dead but playing sleep. <laughs> that was that was good. <laughs> I don't think you were you, you fooled her at all, to be honest. <laughs> of course, we're not done yet. We didn't learn our lesson or anything. <laughs> Man, her hair is so messy now. I kind of want to comb it. More than usual. And, uh, yeah. Now it's time for real sleep. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> We're just saying random words. <laughs> Supposed to be sleeping girls. <laughs> okay, that actually is a little bit funny. <laughs> Some people want to sleep, I'm sure. Are we done, or...? <laughs> Nobody even said anything that time. Uh, Yui. <laughs> Don't choke, Yui. Oh. Okay, so they're on their own, but they have to have their own personal schedule that you know about. That makes sense. Just wander on off. Uh, you almost got away with it. Arashiyama. Sounds expensive. But I guess Mugi, you know, no problem for her. Oh, do we find a music store? <laughs> because it's different than the ones where we live. Yeah. Oh, that, that got her attention. There was no hesitation at all when, they, when she mentioned that. This is Arashiyama. The name sounds familiar. Arashiyama Tai, like from World Trigger. It may have been a similar, if not the same name. 
Oh, they have monkeys. That sounds cool. Why not? You don't want to see monkeys? What's wrong with you? Yeah, Kyoto is just very different than Tokyo, like, extremely different. Oh? <laughs> and you want to do that, do you? Is that a peanut? <laughs> it's okay, it's not gonna bite you. Might bite Yui. <laughs> uh, Moogie is always so cute. Ooh! Got it. See, you did it. See, it worked just fine. <laughs> Good for you, Moogie. <laughs> the monkeys were fun. Yeah, we should get Azunyan Azun something so since he couldn't come. I mean... Oh. Oh, that looks cool. Be hard to find a place for it in your house, but it's just cool. <laughs> Probably. Wow. Come on, Yui. I'm not even surprised. I would love to just visit Japan someday and just see all the sites, you know. Including Kyoto. Because they clearly have a lot of cool shrines and stuff. Uh, do you not have a smartphone in Google Maps? Because that's... <laughs> you found a pug. Good job, Yui. Uh, no tanky indeed. We're kind of lost. Can you help us, kind old lady? <coughs> Try your Kansai Ben. <laughs> Congrats. Don't be writ wrote it down. Because I have a feeling we're. Yeah. I had a feeling. This is what life without Google Maps is like. <laughs> Azinyan, tell us where we are. Yeah, not sure how that will help. You are so stupid sometimes, Yui. Oh, other people. That's helpful. <laughs> We're so glad to see you guys. You don't even know. Wow. Wow. At least we're lost together. <laughs> I really did not see that coming. I'm really surprised that Nodoka would be lost. Come on. What is happening? <laughs> Nodoka, we believed in you. Letting us down. I'm also a little bit shocked that Nodoka's lost. There's no time for jokes. <laughs> it's not it's not that funny. <laughs> uh, she has an amazing laugh though, that was great to see. If it wasn't even a reaction, I would go back and play that part again. Just listening to her laugh. <laughs> Are we just <laughs> Yeah, Mio. <laughs> you gotta think you're weird, Miho. How would you know whose shoes are whose if they're all together like that? I guess it doesn't really matter. Wow, that's spreading. <laughs> I love Mio.
Well, we went from making Mia laugh to making her scared. <laughs> Come on, Sawachan Sensei, that's not cool. I do like them snuggling together, though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, you're just asking for it now, Ritsu. Oof. You spread those cheeks in front of everyone. Will she do that? She said she wouldn't be in the picture, but she did it anyway, so she'll probably do this as well. Oh, well that changes things if you got snacks. <laughs> Yeah, that is their fault. That's true. The Sawachan Sensei boom has occurred. <laughs> Mistakes have been made. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Well, Sweet's is asleep. <sighs> is anyone else asleep? Yeah, but unfortunately, time continues to to move forward. Oh. Oh, she actually fell asleep in there? Wow, that's great. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I guess I could ship that, question mark. Oh. <laughs> That was Mio's turn to drop the snacks. <laughs> yes, I guess she's a real elementary school student. <laughs> uh, a lot of fun was had on this trip, I think. <laughs> uh, I still keep expecting him, please don't say lazy to start playing, but... Yeah. We're not in season one anymore. <laughs> uh, Mio's laugh, it's such an amazing thing, isn't it? It just fills me with so much warmth and happiness. Just, it's the purest thing. I almost want to make a Mio laugh montage from the episode. It's a good episode. One of the best of the second season so far. Still can't believe Nonika was lost. That's just so shocking to me. Since she's like a, you know, a uh, serious character that has it together, you know? <coughs> like, it's not surprising at all that you as Juba get lost, but... I guess getting lost in Kyoto is just, a. Uh, a possibility. But if you have Google Maps, you never get lost. Like when I went to an anime convention with the guys over at Otaku Saga, I was able to easily make it back to the hotel and to the convention by having Google Maps. It was great. Okay. That was the fourth episode of the second season of Kaon. And this episode, it was time for a, you know, school trip. Azadian didn't go on it because I guess it's, she's, I mean, it's for third years only, I assume. They may have actually said it, I just didn't see it, but I, I do assume that it was they're supposed to be just third years. And they went to Kyoto, and everyone was clearly looking forward to it. It was probably a little bit rough getting Yui out of bed, that's, I imagine. But uh, we, once we got there, we got on the train, we had snacks. Yui had plenty of snacks. That was a very important part of, this, the, part of the episode. Riding the train, looking out the window. Uh, Mio kind of having to be the, uh, the, 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 the chaperone-ish type character of the group. You know, keeping things going, keeping things focused. Because, you know, Nodoka flat out said, Okay, Mio, you is in your group. Take care of her, okay? You know, watch out for her, but then Mio's like, you don't understand, Ritsu is also a problem child. I don't know, this is so difficult. Nodoka, I can't do this. That's more or less what she was thinking. 
But, uh, you know, we have read, had some bumps along the way, but we had a lot of fun. You know, went to all sorts of shrines. We got a little bit of knowledge from Mugi about uh, the name of it and how it's not really... The meaning of the name doesn't come from gold, you know, kin. I don't remember the exact explanation, but it was, she was explaining, you know, the history of it. But, uh, you know, they they were impressed by Mugi. They were all clapping, and I love how proud of herself that Mugi looked like her face after she said it. There was a lot of great faces in the episode, really. But they were all running around, you know, praying different shrines, you know, petting cows, as you do for good luck, but they may have had the opposite effect. Just Sawachan Sensei doing her best to keep things together. But, but you know, girls will be girls. They have pillow fights, you know. Like, Mugi was the one that was most looking forward to that. Like, she even checked, okay, these pillows are here. They're fluffy enough for a pillow fight. Okay, I'll remember that, and when it's time for the pillow fight, I'll be back for you, pillows. And then, a few minutes later, she throws one at Yui, and a full-on pillow fight begins, and a lot of good shots were done. However, one of them did hit Sawachan Sensei. He was not a big fan of that. But what was really, really funny is when she took it off and they were all sleeping <laughs> as if that was going to fool her, you know? Like, uh, yeah, the pillow just magically flew into her face. I don't know what happened. We were all just sleeping in the room, you know? We we don't know. Uh, what what could have possibly have happened there? That was great how they all, like, did it together. They didn't have to talk. They didn't have to coordinate that at all. Just that was, like, went, went down for the count to sleep. That was great. Probably one of the funniest moments of the episode. But there was a lot of really funny ones, so it's hard to say for sure. But that was a great moment. Uh, also, the the giggling when they were sleeping, you know, it just some of them were saying random words, which I guess sounded funny or something, and it just started giggling, and it was pretty, pretty great. Uh, I don't know, not much to say about that, but it was a nice little scene. Definitely, we had a little bit of a bath scene. Not much to say on that really, but Mugi was was uh, praising Mio's hair, which is makes sense because Mio does have objectively the best hair in the show. It's just, you know, this long, beautiful black hair, kind of like a Hema cut type hairstyle, you know, just, just so wonderful. Just, yeah, it's just, I could say a lot about it, but, you know, I feel like the more I say about it, the more creepy how it sounds. Just, just so I'm just going to leave it at it. It's, it's very nice hair. So, and Mugi, you know, I acknowledge that, which is great. And then Ritu and Yui were just having fun, you know, uh, just enjoying some skin chip together in the bath as well. And yeah, probably not going in order, but you know. And then and there was a couple of scenes where Mio, when they when they started to do something, and Mio was like, "What well, you could do that at home?" You know, in regards to the tea, in regards to the music shop. Of course, once they mentioned it's got lefties, that that kind of changed their mind a bit. Which that just that's usually how it goes. Generally speaking, just just glued to that glass the second they said that. But they just kept wandering around, looking at the sights, and the monkey scene was cute too. Because somebody mentioned the monkeys, I don't remember who it was, but they could feed them, which is cool. I would love to be able to feed a monkey. I have never fed a monkey in my life. I've fed, like, uh, you know, koi fish, you know, at, like, a Chinese restaurant here, which is, uh, that's nice, too. But I would really like to feed a monkey. So that would be great. If I could just be like, here, little guy. Then he would just take it from my hand and eat it. It'd be so great, wouldn't it? And Mugi wanted to do it, but she was a little bit nervous, a little bit scared, but Yui kind of made her feel better. It's like, don't worry, Mugi, see? I did it. It worked just fine. You can do it. And then Mugi did it, and she, she really had a lot of fun. It was great to see. I love to, love just I love how much fun that Mugi is having, and how much fun they're all having, really. It's just great to see. And just Kyoto in general just seems really beautiful, doesn't it? All these nice spots. And then we actually got lost, which Yui did, wasn't bothered by that at all. She just over there playing with a pug, having a lick her face and stuff. Ritsu asked for directions, which apparently didn't help, and she just got lost. Speaking of, yeah, Ritsu was trying to do this Kanzai Ben thing, which I'm actually not familiar enough with to really re to recognize. Like, I can, I can usually recognize when somebody's in an anime speaking in some, in some kind of dialect, but I can't really differentiate between Kanzai Ben or any other kind of dialect that I can't think of off the top of my head. But I know there's at least a couple more. I can't, like, sp specify them, but I can usually tell when somebody's not speaking standard Japanese. Not that that's that impressive, but, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, whenever I see a scene like this when people are lost, all I can think of is, if you had a smartphone and Google Maps, you would not be lost. You would just type in where you want to go, it would give you this nice little line of how to get there, and you'd walk there. 
Like, that's all I can think about when, during these type of scenes. If you have a smartphone and Google Maps and your phone's not dead, you really have no excuse to get lost. But, you know, maybe this came out before such things were a possibility. And yeah, the extra man's a Nanako. And just, I was, I was thinking, oh wow, our problems are solved, okay? Now we can just follow them and get back on track, back to the hotel. And then they said they were lost, and I just, I just couldn't believe what I just heard. But apparently it's true, they were actually lost somehow. I just still cannot believe that, though. Oh yeah, this scene. Uh, what was it that she said that got me out to laugh? It was the skull. Yeah, they said skull again. And I, I was expecting like a couple like a couple of them to laugh, but I think it was only Mio that laughed during that scene. I'm gonna watch it again real quick because I kind of have to. <laughs> yeah, Mio is pretty much the only one that laughs at it in this scene. <laughs> and she just laughs so hard and Nanako's just so confused just watching her. That was such a nice scene, I love that so much. Mio is so wonderful, and then she just continues to laugh during lunch or dinner. During dinner, later scene. And that's when I find out that Sabachan sensei nickname for her as is just expanding, you know. I don't think she's a big fan of that, but that's how it works. If people see them refer to you as that, and they see you not scold them for it, and it's a nice nickname, they will do it too. That's just how it works. That's why you nip things in the bud when you aren't a big fan of them. And then we scared poor Mio, which did lead to Mio and Ritsu hugging in bed together, which I liked that. I like that a lot, so good job. And Ritsu just getting some bit of punishment from Sawachan Sensei, who was invited to talk with them, you know, as, as if they're one of the girls. And uh, they kind of regretted that soon afterwards, because all she does is complain. And she actually fell asleep on there, which surprised me a little bit. She's like, yeah, Monaka Sensei, I do not approve of you of sleeping with students. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of funny. But yeah, if that was a male teacher, that'd probably be a much more serious issue. <laughs> Which is kind of something I thought about during the scene, but it's an all-girls school, which doesn't ne necessitate having only female teachers, but I think it's mostly female teachers at an all-girls school. I think in this case it is all females. I don't think we've seen any male teachers in the school. Actually, I'm not sure. We may have seen one or two. I'd have to go back and check, but we may have seen a couple, actually. But uh, the point is, it was, she was a girl, so nobody would make a big deal of it, probably. And then we just had our train ride back and they all just laughed together when Mio spills snacks in a way very similar to what Yui did. And they all just laughed and had a good time. And uh, yeah, just much fun was had on this trip. That's really what it comes down to. So that's pretty much everything I have to say on the episode. I loved it. I thought it was great. One of the best episodes of the second season for sure. And, uh, you know, hopefully Oz and Yan will eventually get to go on this trip as well. However, it will be without the other k girls. But hopefully she'll still have fun regardless with people in her own class in her own school year. So yeah. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoki for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.